hi everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel so if you are new here thank you very much for passing by and then if you're a returning subscriber thank you very much for the continuous support and the continuous love so in today's video i'm going to drive you guys through the city of oka and i'm going to show you guys many things and many places that you need to see and also know in this particular city and currently the first thing you need to know is that where we are now is in the Amobia flyover so that is where we are currently and this is the very the junction we just passed is called the Amobia junction so that is what it is called so in this drive i'm going to tell you guys a lot of things that you need to know about Oka and i'm going to show you guys some important places that you also need to see in Oka we are driving we are making this drive from here and the last bus stop for this drive is in Amansi and also this is like in Amansi junction and also i'm going to show you guys the border that is leading like the closest border between the Enugu state and the and also the Anambra state which is in Oka and i'm going to show you guys the little things that you need to know that happens in that particular place so you guys can see how developed this city is and also the first thing you need to know about this city of Oka is that Oka is the capital city of Anambra state and this particular city was made the capital city of Anambra state in the year 21st august 1991 so that is when this city was made the capital city of Anambra state Be like that was immediately after the creation of Anambra state and Enugu state because before Anambra state and Enugu states we are together so that was when the division happened so that was when around that time that Oka was made the capital city of Anambra state and also one thing you also need to know is that this particular state or this particular city in the year 2006 when the census was conducted it was said that this city has a population of 301,600 people in it but i'm sure that by now that there will be a lot of difference compared to how it was before so you guys will notice a lot of changes in this particular city there's a lot of changes in this place a lot especially the paintings on the walls like you guys can see it so so this flyover we are in is called quata flyover and then if you drive down that's where you meet the quata junction so that's like down not on, on this flyover that's where you meet the quata junction this city has three flyovers and i'm going this is the second one that we are driving through and this is the quata junction as i said before so the last one we are going to drive through we have to pass the unisic junction before we reach that particular flyover one common thing you will notice about the transportation in Oka is that there are buses and there are shuttles. Most of the, especially the shuttle bus, like it has a different color compared to the keke and many others. You will notice that mostly because of the school that is here, the federal university that is here, the UNISIC. So that's the reason why the buses, especially the shuttle bus, the color is kind of different. So we are approaching the UNISIC walkover or the unisic junction so anytime you are driving trying you see so this if you are driving through over, you, you know see that you are already in you guys see it, you know that you are and this place is leading into junction. zika venue and you can also see the peace mass park here and when you cross the road to the other side that is when you also see the onisha south park in case if you are trying to make a move from orca to any different kind of states that you want to go to so you also notice that crunches is around this place and also cold stone and we're going to drive through a particular supermarket there's a new supermarket i just noticed it new shop i don't know whether it has been here for a long time so we're going to drive through that place so you guys can also see how that place looks like and also can you guys see it so this is it it's a new supermarket that was made here i kind of noticed it recently you can also notice a lot of banks are here in case of that just you guys should just see how everywhere looks like that is the reason why we are exploring this particular city so the next flyover we are getting very close to is called the aroma junction and also the aroma flyover can you guys see it you guys will see it on top of this signboard that is here can you guys see it so that is it we are going to drive through that particular place very soon and this is the third the third flyover that you will see in 
the city of Oka. So we're going to drive through this flyover. Can you guys see? You saw something there. That is the light of the nation. The motto for Anambra State is known as the light of the nation. So that's the motto for this particular state. This city was one of the oldest settlements in the Igbo land. And the earlier people that settled in this particular city, we are, the known, we are known as the Ifite Anna people. So if you, are, you have read any of the Shiwa Shebes novels, there are a lot of, like, especially the things fall apart, there are a lot of histories of Oka that he kind of mentioned in that novel. Yeah, there are a lot of them though. So anytime you are in Anambra city and you are kind of looking for a place to entertain yourself or a city where you can really go and receive one or two entertainment, you can try and check out Oka. Oka has a lot of entertainment in it compared to Onisha and some other places. So in this drive, we are going to get very close to the government house very soon. And I'm going to show you guys where it is like you see the signboard saying the government house so in this particular city it's where a lot of both government and also federal institutions are located can you guys this is first of all you will see this is the government house this is where the government house is looking very very beautiful and also very neat and also very evergreen <laughs> the place is looking very 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 okay so other federal institutions that you see, a lot of federal institutions that you see here and you also see the Anambra Broadcasting Service TV and also the radio station is also located here and also the Central Bank of Nigeria is also in Oka, this particular city and you also see the Federal Road Safety Commission Office, the Nigeria Immigration Service. We are going to drive through that place and I'm going to show you guys where it is. And you also see the state assembly lodge so in this city it has a market and that market is a very very large market in oka and the name of this market is called eko oka we're not going to drive through this particular place i think i'm going to make a lot of vlog showing you guys where the market is it's located around that Zix avenue side so i'm going to make a drive through that place to show you guys how the market looks like and also one other thing you will know in this particular place this road the other side is leading to the immigration office i was not really able to capture it very very well so this place we are driving we are about to use now to drive through is called the old enugonisha express road so it's just a very very small road and that is where we will see amansi i'm going to show you guys the international convention center that was built in this place by obiano and also i'm going to show you guys the biggest cow market that's where the other place is mostly called about the awosa where the awosa people stays and that is where you see the both the cow market and also the goat market the biggest goat market in anambra state that is where it is and I'm also going to show you guys the UNISIC, like the entrance to the uni, the University of um, Nandiazikiwe University. In this city of Oka, you will see both the UNISIC and also you also see St. Paul's University. But that St. Paul's University is located around that, uh, it's located around, around that Zix Avenue side. That is where the state prison is. So as I said before, I'm going to make a vlog about that place, showing you guys how that place looks like. So talking about religion in this particular city, we drive through some important place. I was not able to pick it up, like most of the headquarters, both the Living Faith Church, some Catholic Church, and many, many other things again. So can you guys see, this is where the International, can you guys see the International Convention Center is? That was built by Obiano government, which is the past government that just left seats. Can you guys see it? This is the entrance. But one thing about this place is that I feel that they are no longer maintaining this place. You guys can notice a lot of bushes and also grasses in this place. Something that is called an international convention center is meant to look international. Everywhere is meant to be kept well. The grasses are meant to be cleared. 
We are getting very close to the road that is leading to the Orca Wonderland, which is the newly built playground that is here. This is where it is. This is where the that, that this road is leading to the place. That's where you see all this play, all this play, all this thing that for kids and also for adults, all this play, Wonderland, all the stuff. So that is where this is being built. I don't really know whether it's opened by now or whether it have still is still is functioning, though. But it looks something fun. The only one that I've attended to is the one that is located in Asaba, and it is really, really very beautiful. That place is really, really very beautiful. So please, if you are watching this extent, don't forget again to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to this channel. So this is the Unizik. The entrance to the unity can you guys see it very clearly so we're going to make a turn from that um abonde awesa where i was up for the biggest cow market so we're going to make a turn from that place so in case if you are thinking about hotels here there are a lot of hotels in this particular city especially in that unity area and many many other areas in um, oka you will see the, in that um, even zix avenue area and some other places in Oka. So Oka has a very very popular festival which is known as the Imo Oka. That is a very very popular festival in Oka and also this festival normally lasts for two weeks. You will see a lot of masquerade making their displays and also many many other things in this particular festival. So you guys should enjoy this ride with me as we explore the city of Oka. Don't forget to watch to the end of this video because I'm going to show you guys some important places again that you need to see and also the road that you also need to see. So this is where the Awasa people, like they butcher their meat, they do suya here, they sell cow here, and many men, they do a lot of things here. And during the Christmas period, if you come this place, eh, like a lot of people, we are really, really crowded here. Can you guys see it? This is the biggest cow market in Anambra State, and this is where it is located. So we're going to drive out of this place, and we're going to follow this Enugu Onesha express road and our last bus stop is going to be in the border between oka which is anambra state and also enugu state so you guys should enjoy this ride with me you can also see there is a lot of development in this road compared to how it was before before this road wasn't really really very good a lot of hold up used to happen here even a lot of people's vehicles used to spoil in this particular road also well, you can see there's a lot of improvement in this particular place so this is where the mnc junction is around this village station area can you guys see it so this is where the mnc junction leading to mnc town so that is it guys so we are very close to the border can you guys see it when anything you're driving when you pass that Amansi Junction and you see this big signboard, they have not really put any banner in it to demarcate and have like all this welcome to Anambra State and goodbye from any good state, all those stuff. They have not really put it. So this is where it is. So if you have watched this extent of my video, thank you very much for watching. I remain blessed. <music>